All right, welcome to my Coachella bundle gameplay and review video. This is also a how is it reactive because everything in this bundle is reactive. So first and foremost, shout out to my great friend, Learn to Earn. As you can see, he has gifted me the entire bundle. Absolutely everything in the bundle has been gifted. Thank you so much. That makes doing this review super easy. I truly appreciate the support, Mr. Learn to Earn. So let's go ahead and take a look at Lyric and Wilder, plus all the accessories. Like I said, everything is reactive. So there's gonna be a lot to cover here. Let's see what we could do. So we're gonna start with Lyric, and I'm gonna show you the reactivity first. So I've got her entire outfit equipped. Now, again, she does have multiple styles. So the first one is this with the hat and the sunglasses. The second one is the festival one where she just loses the sunglasses. Pretty sure that's it. Let's take a look from the back side. Yeah, that's it. And you can't even notice that from your gaming perspective. So clearly those two styles are not reactive, but the third one, the cosmic equalizer is. So I'm gonna equip that one to begin with just so I can show the reactivity here in the locker. But in regards to these first two, it's a good style. I much prefer this skin as opposed to the male one. She's got a unique design. I'm not sure, someone let me know. What? are those straps she has on. It almost looks like a watch chain. You know, one of those old time train conductor watches right below her hand that's on her hips. What is that little chain right there? And then the little straps on her legs. What are those? It looks like one holds some kind of, I don't know, what is that, a purse? I don't know. But I've never seen anyone wear those before. I just don't know what that is. And that's such a unique shirt. It comes down into a triangle. I don't know. I've never seen a female wear a shirt like that, but I guess I'm not around many fashionable females. She's got nice shoes and pants. Everything looks pretty good. Not a fan of the hat, but you can't take it off, even on the reactive style. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to go ahead and equip the equalizer first. Now, everything is reactive to music. That includes the back bling, the skin itself, the festival shredder, and the fin fin flare. Now, we can tell how it's reactive based on the music. So I'm going to be quiet a minute and just watch how it basically plays to the music pack that I'm playing. Here we go. So that's definitely noticeable. Now let me spin around so you can see her shirt. It's much more in tune with the back bling. I feel like the bars are jumping to the beat as opposed to the shirt. But if we play a louder pack and turn the music up, you'll really notice it. So let me go into settings. I don't think my music volume is all the way up. Let's see. Yeah, my music's at 44. So let's go ahead and turn this puppy all the way up to 100. Now look at it. Things are jumping a little higher. But like I said, let's turn on a loud pack. So Afterburner is a really loud pack. Let's do that one. You can see it's definitely hopping all over the place. Okay, so what I wanna see is whether or not that lightning goes away or is that part of the reactivity. We're gonna test that in just a second. But you can see we are going to the beat here. How about on the pickaxe? Uh, it's hard to tell exactly what's happening on the pickaxe. Hmm. Now the rap. Oh yeah, that's definitely going to the music. Look at that. So this is gonna be kind of hard to get to be reactive in game because you'll have to be by someone dancing. Obviously if you emote, it puts everything away. So the only thing you'd be able to see is your skin and the back bling. But the pickaxe and the wrap will be put away. Boy, this music pack's annoying. That is actually horrible. Let me change it. So let's see what this is doing. I don't really see it reacting to the music, but let's just take a look. So there's little blue flames coming up on the purple part, and there's flames all around everything else. So we're gonna turn the music off and see exactly what everything does. So music's gonna go all the way down to zero. Okay, so did anything change there? 
Well, let's see on the cactus. Okay, so we still have sparks for the cactus, just not as frequently. So that is part of the reactivity. And you can see, obviously, nothing's going up and down. But why is the skin being reactive? There's no music being played. But as you can see, there's no patterns around her shoulder. When the music was beating, there was all sorts of flare around her shoulder. You don't see that anymore. And then the wrap is just completely silent now. Okay, this is what I wanted to see. Let's see if the flames get higher. I think they do. Okay, I'm trying to burn it into my memory here. Okay, I got a good look at it. Now let's turn the music back on, see if the flames are any higher. Oh yeah, definitely flames got a lot higher there. And again, you can see the lightning go berserk here and see those speckled things by her arms now? I thought they were blue, but they're actually pink. So those are all over the place. So that is how everything is reactive. And again, the awesome wrap. Nice. So let's hop into a match real quick, just so we can see how these actually look in game. All right, so we definitely have flames on the guitar. Those are bright flames. I feel like it's trying to react to something right now, even though there's nothing being played. And obviously the skin pretty much is constantly reactive for some reason, but the back bling just has the little blue sparks. That's a cool back bling though, I like that. Okay, so yeah, everything lights up big time when you're emoting as anticipated. What if you do an emote with no noise? How about just a clown? Yes, that lights up everything. And you can actually see the guitar reactivity. That's awesome. So emotes are the way to go because you don't actually put your pickaxe away. And you can see it flashes and everything. And look at the lightning on the back bling. That's awesome. This is actually a pretty cool reactivity. Ooh, the spray lights it up too. Watch this. Obviously, it puts your pickaxe away. So the only way to see the reactivity on the pickaxe by yourself is to use an emoji. Now, obviously, if someone else is dancing near you, you're going to see it. But as a solo player, this is the only way to see the reactivity on the pickaxe. Unless you go up to something making noise. Let's see if the pickaxe has a contrail. Oh, that is wickedly awesome. Nice contrail. Probably a nice splash effect too, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's got a nice guitar riff sound as well. Here's what the wrap looks like. That is a pretty solid wrap. Here it is on the Ranger. That is sweet, look at that. So I don't know how you would trigger this unless someone was dancing. As a solo player, I mean but it still looks clean without it. So I'm not gonna showcase both of these because like I said, you can't even see the glasses from your perspective, so it's pretty much the same style. But I'm just gonna do the one with the glasses. We're gonna hop back in, see how it all looks without the reactive skin. Here we go. Again, with the awesome equalizer glider. So this skin is pretty clean. I do enjoy this. It's not quite as flashy. Obviously, the pickaxe and the back bling function the same. You can still emote to make the back bling reactive. And you can still throw up an emoji to get everything else reactive. But you're not quite too bright for your enemies. You're not purple, you're not blue, whatever color that is. You're not flashing with all those effects. So this is a nice compromise. If you don't want all that, but you still want a little bit of reactivity, just run this combo right here. The awesome pickaxe, the awesome back bling, and then the skin with the Michael Jackson hat. So he only has two styles, Mr. Wilder and Cosmic Equalizer. Now, I was a little harsh on this skin. I did kind of a mini review earlier before they were actually released, but it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. That's not too shabby. He looks pretty average at best, but then again, they made him blue and purple. He's got a big old hand. Look how big his hand is, it's bigger than his face. Holy block hand, Batman. Okay, so we're gonna start with everything reactive so we can see what it does. So obviously, he's a little less flashy than she was because her shirt was a different color whereas his is white. But you can see the bars ebbing and flowing with the music. He's got those specks around his shoulders as well from the music. I wonder if the mouth opens and closes based on the music. Obviously, it's not quite in tune. 
but when I shut the music off, we'll see. Kind of just flaps in the breeze there, but you can see the back bling lighten up all over the place. It's pretty clean. Pickaxe. That's a lot of flash, a lot of colors. I like that. I bet it's got an amazing splash and contrail too. Okay, so let's turn the music off and see how this guy looks. I'm sure his shirt is still gonna bounce up and down, but around his shoulders and his arms is gonna go away. Okay, so the mouth still does move and it's still animated, just not as flashy. And again, you can see his shirt still bounces up and down, but like I said, he did lose the things around his arms and his shoulders. He still has a little bit of contrail coming off him though. And this pickaxe, still animated, but again, just not as flashy. And we already saw the wrap. So that's kind of cool. Let's check this one out in game, see what it looks like. All right, so his pickaxe and back bling are pretty awesome. They're actually kind of large though. That's a little big, but it is super cool. I love the color scheme. I love that both mouths are just <laughs> flapping open like that. It's kind of like a larger and smaller version of itself. Look at that contrail. I knew it'd be awesome. It's got the wavy neon lines and everything. Holy smokes. Here's the splash effect. So it's not quite as cool as the guitar one because that one had a special noise it made. But I think they make up for it with the awesome contrail and splash effect. That's amazing. But if you don't like standing out, you may not enjoy it as much as I do. Here's the pull-out noise. Now let's do an emote. You can see he's really lighting up just as the backling is as well. Let's do nailed it here. So that makes him light up just a little bit just when he scrapes but you can see the back bling so it's kind of just normally animated and then it flashes a bunch right there okay so let's see the pickaxe by doing an emoji oh yeah look at the flash it just covers the entire pickaxe it's not as noticeable on the back bling as it is on the pickaxe because the front of the pickaxe look at that it turns a barrage of colors. And it's different every time. That time it was green. That time it was a little yellow. Pink and blue. Green and blue. That's cool. So I'm actually very impressed with these skins. The reactivity is a nice touch. And it's not always constant. Because again, you have to be doing an emote. Or someone has to be emoting. Or you have to do an emoji. So it's not always present. Not bad. And again, the wrap, very clean and matches very nice with the back bling and the pickaxe. All right, let's do his normal style and then we'll be done. So here he is without the reactive skin. You can see the illumination from the back bling on his white tank top there. So even if you're trying to stay low key, which <laughs> you're probably not with this back bling on regardless, you're still gonna shine a little bit and then the reflection of the pickaxe as well kind of lights them up all sorts of neon colors. Now, I think I much prefer the blue-purple color scheme on this one because, as I mentioned, he does just look a little plain with this one. But that's a look that some people might enjoy. And let's say you don't want the back bling or the pickaxe, then you might just enjoy this skin on its own. Could be your kind of style, I guess. So there you go. That is wave one of the Coachella skins coming to Fortnite. And this bundle, in my opinion, is well worth it. At first, I was very, very sketchy about the whole thing. Having no knowledge of what Coachella is in the first place, I was actually pleasantly surprised. The reactivity and the look of everything in this bundle is very amazing. Now, if you can only afford one skin, I would definitely go with Lyric, in my opinion, just because I like that back bling so much better than the shark one on Wilder. Although I do love sharks, but the fact that its mouth opens up and down and the illumination from it just makes whatever skin you're wearing that much more brighter, I would definitely go with Lyric. But if you can get the entire bundle, I think it's well worth it because then you would get the wrap as well as the pickaxes and it would be amazing. So pleasantly surprised. I am very impressed with this entire bundle. There you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.